Hey guys, Slime here, and um, as you may notice, I'm energetic in doing all this good stuff, and uh, yeah, I made a um, world, and I tried uh, recording it, and I, I did, but uh, it missed the whole other half of it, so I didn't, I, I didn't necessarily save that. As you may know, as I, I freaking deleted my um, my other world, and the, we're just gonna, we're just gonna hop into this. I'm just gonna fill you in on what I was talking about during this some, this one. Um, I was talking about nostalgia trips, and I, I, I made a heartfelt thing during this one. Uh, and it was just a couple seconds ago when I ended it. And um, I was down here talking about how I had a couple of videos. I, I should probably tell you about them, like, like literally, because now I, my, my heart hurts. It actually feels better now, as you may know. But I'm all, I'm all energetic. Um, as you may know. I actually um, took a break from YouTube for like two days because I or three days can, can, yeah, considering when this video comes out and um, yeah um so basically the first thing I was talking about was um how bipolar I was and um, because how I was saying and yelling at myself because of how I uh, treated the save and how I deleted it. I was I was making myself feel bad. And um, just, a, just a couple seconds ago is when that happened. And um, yeah. And then um, I was like saying like, then I was talking about nostalgia because it's always good to come back to nostalgia. And even though you may be hearing this from a freaking 14 year old, um, nostalgia is something that always comes good to your heart. It's like just something that fills your soul, your soul. And um, I was just speaking on how like my original world, like my actual like long series that I had, don't know how many videos, I need to watch them again because I was, I was watching them a couple of weeks ago. And I just recognized how nostalgic it was just just looking at them, just watching them and seeing my channel grow as like my friends came and see me and like it's it's good to come back to nostalgia. And I think I should tell you about the story that I had about nostalgia. Um so Back in like 2009, remember when you could like see all like those, those very like good but like yet cringy um, videos about like Call of Duty zombies in real life. But I I enjoyed them. Don't don't judge me. I I enjoyed them. Um, but I used to watch this all the time. And then when I finally got the thought that I was like, hey, this doesn't seem so hard. I mean like it's just point a camera at your face and just say random crap like I am right now but I like it it's not actually that hard I mean it, I'm it's not that easy being a youtuber and you may say that it's like pretty easy and it's not necessarily like you are doing this at your own will but like you know you make it your own challenge on your own purpose on your own way See, like, people are bloggers, people are vloggers, vloggers, bloggers, did I, s <laughs> um, vloggers and gamers and, like, BuzzFeed, <laughs> BuzzFeed, you crack me up, ha 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 ha, um, but anyways, voice crack, on the other hand of that, um, I'm over here waving my hand, but you can't see my hand, um, so when I was down here, I was talking to you guys about my other channels. Now, I had about like four, three different channels, but I'm only gonna mention like two of them. Okay, so when I, when I was like looking at these videos, thinking that they were easy to make, um, I just basically just uploaded, I tried uploading and yet they didn't upload. I tried uploading like, a video of me just randomly just doing crap outside and I, it was kid things to do like I would like climb on trees and crap don't exactly remember what like the name of those videos were but why, why no 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 
Um, but, um, I used to think that they were easy, but they weren't uploading and they weren't very good as well. So I just stopped that. And then a couple years left through that in 2009, uh, or a couple of months after that, I thought that I could actually make a YouTube channel. And so I thought that I could just make the little account, my very own Google account. Or my sister's either one, <laughs> and so I I used that one, and I I it was either my last and sauce that came first, or it was. I think it might have been my last and sauce, and so I had that one first. And so then I started trying to make Minecraft videos for my PlayStation, and they weren't very good. I was dressed up as a ninja or an elf or something like that for my skin, hi pig, and so. <laughs> Just type it. Um, and so, like, I used to do that random stuff on it. And I, I try to be Sunday, basically. Because I used to watch Sunday back then. And, you know, it was, it was the same old, same old thing that I would watch is Minecraft. Because what else was I going to do when I was how old? Considering it's 2017. It's 15-year-old. Back 2012. That was about... Three years? No. Yes. No. I'm stupid. I can't do nothing in my mind. And so, um, I tried making videos. They didn't look very well because I used to think that they were edited by themselves. That would be good. No. No, that wasn't the deal. Um, they were, they were really cringy. They were bad. And so, I um, didn't really like it that much, and then I tried out uh, another one in 2012. It was called, like, Something Cat. I don't know exactly. Wait, did this refill? It did refill. I can just get endless fish from this. This is, like, cheating the game, but okay. And endless wood, whatever. I need endless wood. I can just replant, but... um. Basically, I would um, I, I would do this one weird thing. Like I had a whole schedule. What, what was that? Like phlegm? <laughs> I had this whole like schedule planned out, and like I would do weekends with the cat, and I would have this whole little jingle. It's like we with we, weekends with cat, bum bum, and it would be so cringy. And eh. I even had my friend Chris, or my lost some sauce, as you may know him as, if you even check out his channel. Or, um, I've mentioned him a couple of times on this channel. And so, um, I had him on it, and we would do some parkour, and one of the days he got really hurt on, like, a nail or something like that. And, um, yeah, that, that happened. Um, but... It, it was, I thought it was good in my mind. I would try to make Minecraft videos, they didn't work. And so, I would stop that. I would end that channel for good. It needed to be buried in a deep, dark hole where no one could ever see it again. <laughs> I don't even know the, the channel name. And, like, what my main goal was on that channel was because, like, it was about Khajiit. Don't know if you ever heard it, but it was from Skyrim. And back in 2012 was when I, when I got it. And so, back in 2012, you know, the whole deal with, like, people thinking that the whole world was going to die and that we would just explode in a fiery ball of flame and stuff. And then world, world stuff happened. And yeah. Basically, that all happened. And I just thought, well, if the world's going to end, I might as well just make a video and then I'd be noticed. But that made no sense because if the whole world died, no one would see it. But I still did it anyways because I was, um, how old? Don't know. Um, uh, 2012. 17. That means 15, no, five, five years ago, I was in sixth grade. In sixth grade, I was 12 to 13, around there. 
and then yeah and then the whole world didn't end and that's how you can still watch my videos today is because the world didn't end and um i'm not making a whole lot of progress just talking to you guys and cooking stuff not that i have my, all my stuff cooked um yeah i then i uh, didn't like that channel and i um i just ditched it and it needed to be put in a deep dark hole like um, my last one sauce did also, by the way, my lesson sauce was actually brought back by Chris, or my friend Chris, as you may know, as I call him, my lesson sauce. Um, he brought it back, and he he didn't really do much of the the whole YouTube thing. Um, he said that he was waiting for like um like good equipment and better like capture cards and stuff like that. And so yeah, um. Didn't have a whole lot. Don't know. You can still search him up. I'm pretty sure his channel is still alive. But there's only like probably like two videos and a playlist of his stuff that he does or likes to listen to, like music. <clears throat> but yeah, if you want to go check him out, yeah, just go do that. Um, so yeah, I, I buried that one in a deep hole and I waited like two more years uh until like 2016 yes the beginning of it i had the original idea on new year's eve and I, as you may know i my channel's birthday was on new year's eve this year and so i just did that video a couple like a month ago about now Basically, since it's like, this video will come out most likely on the 31st, so, yeah, um, that happens, and, uh, sorry, uh, but I wasn't uploading for a couple of days, I just thought that taking a break from YouTube was a good thing, and it, like, calmed my nerves from being stressed out all the time because of my videos, they weren't going up at the right times, and just how to do scheduling, but, you know, that YouTube is, I think I already said this, but, like, YouTube is your own time, and you gotta do that, and you make your own challenge, but, then I made this channel, and then I made a bunch of Minecraft videos, and I thought they were interesting, and I thought, like, I would literally watch myself, I know that's kind of narcissist, is it narcissistic, if I'm using that in the right term, I'm not the brightest kid, but, yeah, um, in other terms and ways of things, um, so I made that channel, and I made a bunch of, uh, of those Minecraft videos, and then back in September of last year, I got my PS4, and that's how I'm making these videos that you're watching right now, and that, I, I had a few more options to pick from, like, I could literally buy more games for my PS4, I mean, PS3, and I'd be fine, and then I'd also be, get me a phone or so, because back then my phone was, wasn't the best, that, that was the phone that I was recording on, and wasn't the best, and then I got this new phone back in May, and now the screen's cracked, <laughs> man, I'm not the best with things of this sort, and so, it's nighttime. I'm gonna just sit in my bed, wave my axe in my face. Um, yeah, and then that's where we are today. And that's the reason nostalgia happens. And back about a year ago, like a little while ago, it seems so like that we're still in 2016 still. And it's just like good to like think of that. And it's like back a little while ago. <laughs> We've seen on Smart Chicks channel, hashtag go to see Smart Chicks channel. I uh, will try to put her name in the the subscription, or not the subscription, in the, 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 the description, the description. I'll also put mods and pages and also James Wise. Now, James Wise is my good friend Josh, and he went to the Klondike Derby with me. And that's also another reason why I wasn't posting for um, on Saturday. I didn't post on Saturday because 
Saturday night, I could say. I um I went camping for this thing called the Klondike Derby. You know, the Klondike Derby is when you it's for the Boy Scouts of America. If you know them, they went, they go around and do service projects in their uniforms, and it was fine and dandy. And so uh, it was cold because we were camping out in the cold. Like, yeah, because you know, in Idaho it's cold there. And uh, also because, you know, half the world right now is basically covered in snow or is cold, mostly in more North America. And so, uh, yeah. Not much of a geography dude for that. So if you want to go check that out on um, how cold it is right now. <laughs> Just joking. Um, yeah, that's the thing. I, I went to the Klondike Derby. We had a bunch of fun. Um, I got a bullseye with, um, with a black powder rifle. <clears throat> totally not getting bragging rights, but was the first one to do it. <clears throat> Just joking. Um, I also threw this like wooden board that we call a snow snake and uh, basically it's this long board that's uh, has like a curve at the end and what you do is you throw it along this uh, track of snow with like like mad snow with the shovel you know and it'll slide along this like track and I got 212 feet and uh, yeah it was pretty cool <laughs> bragging rights <laughs> um, but anyways um, along with that um, Josh or James Wise he um, he brought his brother along along with his dad bringing them both and me um, I know that Jake you might be watching this video but um, not directly turning this video towards just straight to Jake I'm like I'm happy today. Don't judge me. <laughs> um, Jake, if you are watching this, uh, shout out to Jake, everyone. Um, I know he watches my videos, and I th think I get a lot of like uh, views from him. And I know that he watches my vids, and so it just just makes me happy knowing that like someone I don't entirely know. Such as Josh, I know him, but I don't entirely know his brother. He watches my videos, and it's, it's just, it's just heartwarming knowing that not just my friends watch, also their little brothers. <laughs> I don't know. It's, it's just awesome knowing this, and so yeah. Now I, I know that I'm being kind of like a like sentimental right now and nostalgic and just like I, I'm just happy because I had I got to take a break from YouTube and I, I got to do some cool fun things I haven't been camping in like the longest while since like last I don't know even when like in the summer like that was for like scout camp but yeah it was it was fun there yeah and so, on um, any other note, um, nos nostalgia is like one of the best things we have besides memories, and they they can join together, like best buddies or brothers or sisters, whatever you want to call it. They're they're just good together. Just knowing that the memories that you have in the moment now will be put in your memory and save for the past and will be saved in the future if you keep them and I think that's that's this is a good thing is to always go back to nostalgia and just just know like you've grown so much over the years and it just just amaze, it will amaze you once you look at yourself in the mirror and just see like how much you changed if you changed over a good long while. I mean, like age is the thing, but um, basically, yeah. Um, it's always good to take a break and just get nostalgic. <laughs> I know I sure like getting nostalgic. If that's just me, then that's just me. And uh, yeah. Now, 
I was a dingus and I freaking saved wrong and I ended up deleting that world and uh, I ended up deleting my good world and that was my one world that I had for a while. <clears throat> and I enjoyed that world. And I have so many memories and I'm glad I recorded them because then I can just go back and just just look at them and just see how much cringy I, I've gotten over the years. Even if so, I'm still the cringy dude that you can see today and watch play <laughs> Minecraft videos. But, yeah, guys, um, expect to see more, certainly expect to see more of me in this new world. I am certainly planning on making something, you know, over here together, you know, could be. Who knows? Could be, couldn't be. Could become a memory. <laughs> but, yeah, now that I just, uh... Went through all that, telling you guys to always go back to nostalgia. Um, that's basically all I have for you guys today. Hope you guys enjoyed. This is where I'm going to leave it for a little bit. I'm going to post tomorrow. And hopefully you guys enjoy this. Do all that good stuff down below. And uh, yeah, stay slimy, my friends.